So we were talking around the table, just a group of us urbanists at a meeting one night, and we said, what part of town really needs this? You know, what do we see on the news all the time? What do we hear people talking about at public meetings? The lack of development and the lack of resources in the North Tulsa area. Why would we not come here? Why would we not spend our you know, skills and our volunteer efforts and the resources that we're able to get as Typros um, in a community that so badly needs it? I'm Casey St. John and I am Typros Urbanist Crew co-crew leader for 2013. So we're just north of the downtown Tulsa area. It doesn't look like a very great place to go. There are abandoned corners, lack of sidewalks, lack of developed housing. You know, this is a place that needs a little helping hand. We would want to invest in a property or invest in a business if nobody's going to go and shop there. That's, that's a big barrier for developers wanting to come somewhere. The stigma of crime and the stigma of impoverished families unfortunately hinders everyone from other parts of the community from coming out here. I think that there's a, there's a really big movement right now with, within Tolson's. Um, we're really excited to live here. It's, it's, uh, it's great for music, it's great for shopping, it's great for dining, a uh, good place to live. You know, if you have kids, whether you're single, a young professional, older, it doesn't matter. It's just a great community. Everyone's kind of accepted and, uh, you know, one, one great front, one united place. Well, I really hope that today people are coming to this community from other parts of town. So we have Midtowners, we have South Town, East, West, all over Tulsa coming out to this area, breaking that barrier, um, looking at the potential that's here, seeing these empty parking lots and these vacant properties and and looking at what, what that could be, seeing the potential there. Um, I'd like to see the neighborhood right behind us, North Star, really take hold of this corner. Uh, the small area plan says it could be a town square. So let's make it a town square. Let's keep this event going in you know, the next few weeks and the next few months. Let's have a corner market where people can walk here, your kids can perform, your families can get fresh food, and that this can happen on a regular basis so that this part of town does not continue to be neglected and slacking. So since we're here on uh, Peoria Corridor, one of the busiest bus corridors in all of Tulsa, we decided let's make that connection. Let's connect to some of the areas that are bustling. So our downtown, for example. There are a lot of events going on at Guthrie Green and all over downtown. Let's make that connection. So we decided to partner with NCOG and use the resources they have in their planning department to talk about bus rapid transit and talk about the potential that that could be if it's funded through the city. It's a good opportunity to you know cross the barriers of downtown to North Tulsa. This couldn't have been more successful to have all of the partnerships that we did, local um, nonprofits and schools. We have all of these great vendors and healthy food options and food trucks. Everyone has been on board. There has not been a single person that says they didn't want to participate. And just the fact that the community is coming out today, not only from here in North Star area, but also from other parts of town, it's really exciting.